Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Alchemy Online. This episode is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be joined here in the skate park by our friend Joseph Brooks, who is blessing our space with a beautiful little mural. And while he was here, we went ahead and interviewed him about his process, his work, and really what it takes to make the jump from passionate part-time maker to full-time artist. So stick around as he puts some paint on the walls and we pick his brain on how he does what he does. I'm Joseph Brooks. I am an artist. I do a lot of different kinds of art. I've been full-time as an artist for five years, almost five years. And before that, I was showing and doing as much as a full-time artist would do, but just not full-time. I had a day job. I think that's necessary. Yeah, and that was like probably 10 years. And before that, I made music. So art like was always a huge part of my life since I was super young, especially since I was like a teenager, 12, 13, you know? It came in and it stayed. Basically, I would find, I would have jobs, but there was always the main fo focus was like making art in one way or another form. Um, originally it was drawing and then it moved into making music and uh, you know, me and my brother had a group and we did shows, you know, Tacoma, Seattle for about 10 years. And then uh, I stopped making music because painting was like just pulling me because the whole time I'm making music and painting and working a day job. And so it just kept pulling me and pulling me and I gotta follow this, like, it's pulling me so hard I can't not do this. So then that kind of pulled me more, I started showing in different spaces. I lived in Seattle at the time, so I showed at like Twilight Gallery. Uh, when they sold, uh, I had to find a new place to show, because I only just showed at the one spot. And uh, so then I joined the Greenwood Artist Collective, and then the owner of, the new owner of Twilight liked my work as well, so I kept showing there. And then it just kind of grew from there. Met more artists, you know, Starhead Boy, Narbu. I was in a, a collective with them. And just like being around them and seeing how much work they put out just made me really like get on my grind so I could be at the same level as my studio mates, like making work. And that whole like five, six years, I think I was in the studio maybe seven years or so. But that whole time, it's just everything changed. And it was like, okay, I need to continue doing this and see what's going on with like my job. I moved back to Tacoma. I was still like going to Seattle commuting for like six months. And I was just like, it's time that I leave. And I had been at that job for 12 years. I was there a long time and it was great. I did inside sales at an HVAC place. Like it was cool, you know, but it was time that I had to leave. Cause if I didn't, it was like, then I would, I would regret it. And I don't like to live like that. 